Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. And today we are watching Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the ninth and as of right now, the last film directed by Quentin Tarantino. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought you said there was 10. Well, the 10th is in like, he's making it. He's uh, writing, writing the script Oh, right I see. Now. Oh, he's not done. Oh, there's nope. another one to come. Okay. This one only came out, I think, uh, two or maybe three years ago. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's very recent. So it's been a, a... I know you said you really liked it when you saw it. I really and, enjoyed and it. And all, all you knew, I knew was that it was to do with the Manson family mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact, I actually won a pair of tickets to an advance screening for this movie. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. One of our local radio stations had a week-long contest. They were giving out five pairs of tickets to the screening. I managed, managed to snag the last pair on, mm. on the Friday. Mm -hmm. So I took a buddy from work uh, down to, I think it was the Cineplex Theater over in... in um, south edmonton wherever but yeah. but yeah they, we signed like a little form saying you know no phones no recording mm -hmm. devices of any kind um and it was great it was fantastic I, I, i've never won anything before a premiere like that yeah, yeah so cool. it was it was a real trip and cool. and i and the movie was good is it yeah. i instantly fell in love with the movie i yeah. thought but i think like two more times in the theater okay it's it's my second favorite tarantino film after uh, kill bill but yeah it's uh set in 1969 has to do with the golden age of hollywood and uh, I know Brad Pitt's in it. Yep, Brad Pitt and Leo DiCaprio. Leo, ah, okay, yep. all right. Yeah, <laughs> each of them were one was in uh, Bastards and one was in Django. Oh, and right, together. yes, sir. Right. Yeah, this also stars Mar Margot Robbie playing Sharon Tate. Oh, I like Margot Robbie and uh, a whole cast and colorful collection of actors, many of which have worked with Tarantino before. Oh, okay, some of them might be portraying some actors that have that we know uh, from history it's oh well, this is gonna be interesting they're playing like real life actors playing actors okay. yeah instantly became one of my favorites it's it's a little bit untraditional um as we go through but it's it's just like you know untraditional for tarantino you know? yeah because it's like set in real life i think he has a traditional thing <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's just a fantastic film. Great actors. One of your favorites might be showing up. I'll leave you to kind of guess who that is. Sick Kurt. <laughs> and with all that being said, guys, let's dive in. Whether you're dead or alive, you're just a dollar sign to Jake Cahill <laughs> on Party Law. Thursdays at 8.30, only on NBC. <laughs> to my right is Bounty Law series lead and Jake Cahill himself, Rick Dalton. And to my left is Rick stunt double Cliff Booth. Oh, is that double? You idiots, you've captured their stunt doubles. <laughs> Join me next week on the set of The Dick Van Dyke Show, where I'll be talking to those comical cut-ups, Maury Amsterdam and Rosemarie. Wow. Till then, this... Oh, jeez. There's a lot of references in this movie that I never got before, so I'm relying uh, on you okay. to kind of give me context. Okay. Yeah, those first... Rosemarie and the, the, on the um, Dick Van Dyke Show. The two that he works with as the oh. as comedy writers. That's Rosemarie oh, cool. and Maury Amsterdam. Hmm. Ooh, very wow. Yep. Oh, obviously before he died. Yeah. This was his final film. Oh, Damien Lewis. Okay. Yep. Jeez, there's tons of people in this one. Oh, yeah. Al Pacino. Wow. No, oh, there he is. We, we had De Niro in the other one. And... Yeah. <laughs> Call me Rick. <clears throat> Rick? Oh, is that your son? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's my stunt double, Cliff Booth. Yeah. My car's in the shop, so he gave me a ride. That's a big fucking lie. Oh. Rick got his driver's license taken away for too many drunk driving tickets. Kurt, my Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> Back for a third time. Is he narrating or? Oh, I just did so. <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of killing, a lot of killing. That could be the title of Tarantino's biography. Yeah. A lot of killing. A lot of killing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I, I practice with that dragon uh, th three hours a day for two weeks. All right, that's too hot. Anything we can do about that heat? Rick, it's a flamethrower. It's too hot. Oh! And you brought him here. Michael Watson? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's an old trick pulled by the networks. What the audience sees is Bingo Martin whipping Jake Cahill's ass. It's going to have a psychological effect on how the audience perceives you. It's an interesting way to look at like how the studios yeah, would, true, eh? would cast. And... Do you go to Rome and star in westerns mm -hmm. and win fucking fights? That's what Clint Eastwood did. Yeah. Revitalized his career. Yeah. 
It's official, old buddy. Well, it has been. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen Leo oh, cry. Oh, oh my god, he's <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about that. Don't cry in front of the Mexicans. Uh, well, then what's the problem? I gotta do fucking Italian goddamn movies. That's a fucking problem. <laughs> Fuck bullshit. Well, I mean, that should be fine after all. Uh, um, Cliff there, he speaks a little Italian. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> he can teach him. Bon Bongiorno. <laughs> Rivaderci. <laughs> wow, how they get all the old cars like that there, eh? Yeah, they That's did a lot cool. of work for this yeah. one. Yeah. And that was one quick scene going around a corner, right? Mm hmm. Who's singing? The girls in the thing or the ones on the street? I think it's both. Okay. Is that the same girls? I yeah. believe so, yeah. And now that I look, think about it, that's Sydney Sweeney there. Yes, you're right. Huh. huh. I didn't see her name, but maybe she's just a. Uh, yeah, just a bit character, yeah. Yeah. Looking like at a jar of pickles or something. <laughs> yeah. Whatever they fished out of the yeah. trash. Yeah. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> One thing about Tarantino, he has good music in his movies. He does, yeah. yeah. Ooh, is that Sharon Tate? That is. Oh. And who is she playing? And who is she married to at oh, the time? Yeah. Roman Polanski. Yep. Jeez. Yeah. Barely wide enough for two cars. Oh. <laughs> He's just doing what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a stunt man, but still. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Ah, there it is. Craft dinner. They had to look around to get a box from 1969, eh? <laughs> yeah. Wolf's. Oh, for the dog. Yep. Wolf's tooth. For Rat and raccoon flavor. Oh, God. Raccoon flavor. Oh, God. Oh. He looks like Hooch from Turner and Hooch a little bit. Yeah, only jacked up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's drooling. He's angry. Hurry up. <laughs> While I was doing the dishes, he was doing great. Yeah, Roman raided Austin Powers' wardrobe. Yes. <laughs> but no one drives normal on this street. At all. <laughs> well, one thing I like is they're actually driving. Yeah, it's right. It's not just yeah. like they're inside the car and there's a screen going by the window. Yeah, true. They're actually going down the road. Yeah. Oh, Playboy Mansion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who's playing Hafner? Steve McQueen, Michelle Phillips. Wow. Mama Cass. Who's that? Uh, with Michelle Phillips and the... Um, Were they like a band? Yeah, or like yeah, a... yeah, yeah. Ah. Mamas and the Papas. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Damien Lewis. Yeah, it's Winters playing Steve yeah. McQueen. Sharon absolutely has a type. Cute, short, talented <laughs> guys who look like 12-year-old boys. I never stood a chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We all snore. <laughs> For Margot Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> Barbie herself, you know. <laughs> you talk to the stunt gaffer about me today, that way I know if I'm working this week or not. Yeah. <clears throat> the guy who gaffs this. Best friend of Brandy. The guy from the Green Hornet. So, uh, really ain't no point. Having a rough morning. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> this is how you do it. I never thought to try that. Not that I've ever been hung over, ever. <laughs> Zeitgeist flair in the costumes. <laughs> I mean, nothing anachronistic, but he's just dying over yeah. there in the chair. You want him to look like a hippie? <laughs> well, think less hippie, more <laughs> Hell's Angel. Rum, rum, rum. <laughs> I hired you to be an actor, Rick. <laughs> Not a TV cowboy. You're better than that. Oh, he's gonna see her again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
you know who her mom is, eh? No. Margaret Qualley. So from Four Weddings and a Funeral, the American Girl. The oh, main, yeah. Hugh Grant's love interest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of good, though, if you don't have, like, he's a stuntman. He doesn't have a lot of work to do or to do get paid to do other jobs, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Parkour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks real good. Oh, geez. Yeah. Yep. That's better. That's not even fair. <laughs> <laughs> like this son of a bitch is in his what fifties or you know, like he's and he looks like this. <laughs> huh? hey, Randy, you in there? Yeah, just not. And it's funny. This movie, he's in charge of the stuntman. Uh, <laughs> Remember, he was the stuntman in yeah. Death Proof. What is this on? Oh, 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 beef between oh, two. Come yeah. on, man. What? Huh. The dude killed his fucking wife. What? You know, this is probably the shittiest weather ever. <laughs> flashback within a flashback. Uh, I guess I'm the fucking idiot. And now you're not gonna talk to me? What, you don't feel like fighting? Well, I- I'm sorry, I'll throw her overboard for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's a goddamn war hero. I mean, he led the Inglorious Bastards, you know? That's right! <laughs> you know my wife, Janet, don't you? Yeah. Steer clear of her. <laughs> <laughs> what I admire is... Oh, who's he supposed to be, uh... Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Green yeah. Hornet. Yeah, all oh, right. When Cassius Clay meets Sonny Liston in the ring, that's not two athletes posturing. That's combat. Yeah, the actor's name is Mike Moe. Uh, and he does a pretty spot-on impersonation, I yeah. have to say. Yeah, because he was in Green Hornet, right? Wasn't he? Yeah. He was Kato. Yeah. And it's funny because in Kill Bill, the Crazy 88 all wore Kato masks. Ah, right. And Uma Thurman makes a reference. Yeah. They do what they need to do to win. They unleash as much punishment as they have to to defeat the other guy. Well, if you fought Cassius Clay, who would win? I'd make him a quipple. <laughs> hey, you. You know you're kind of pretty for a stuntman. That's what they tell me. We get into a fight, I accidentally kill you. I go to jail. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. <laughs> it's called manslaughter. That's a great idea, Kato. Oh. <laughs> I wondered about that hair. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, it's Done. Bruce Lee, you know. One of the most skilled fighters on Earth. Yeah. And Cliff the Stuntman. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Ooh. Damn. We dented up that nice car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <sighs> He's beating Bruce Lee. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Guess oh, who? She is. What the fuck is going on here? Zoe Bell. Oh, uh, you're right, Janet. I'm sorry. Oh, Janet. That okay, this is serious. Me, here. you prick. Hey. What's up, babe? What's up, Ray? And he tried to kill her in Death Proof, yeah, but they're married yeah. now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. My God. What the fuck did you do is to that... my car? Oh, it's her car. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get your shit and get fucked! Janet! What? I will handle this. Then fucking handle it, Randy! <laughs> Cliff. Get the wardrobe off. Get your shit. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I do have a few problems with that scene. Get into yeah. the discussion, but... Because of Bruce Lee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for Terry. I'm a friend of Terry's and uh, Dennis Wilson's. Well, Terry and Candy don't live here anymore. This is the Polanski residence now. Really? He moved? Is he supposed to be Madsen? It's okay, honey. It's a friend of Terry's. Oh, I'm just taking man. Chills. Yeah. <laughs> Red Helter Skelter when I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, the mustache. And yeah. I love how they, they have these whole towns and streets made up. Yeah, the back lots. And... Mm hmm Bother you if I sat next to you and read my book, too? Would you bother me? I'll try not to. First you pick up that cup. Yeah. <laughs> in the garbage can. Yeah, we'll just leave it in. They had styrofoam back in the Old yeah, West. Yeah, you know? right. <coughs> oh, Jesus. It keeps doing that. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Sorry. Her face. Yeah. <laughs> this poor child. <laughs> yeah. I believe it's the job of an actor, and I say actor, not actress, because the word actress is nonsensical. It's the actor's job to avoid impediments to their performance. When we're on set, I prefer to only be referred to by <laughs> my actor. character's name. It helps me invest in the reality of the story. And if I can be a tiny bit better, I want to be. Yeah, she takes the craft very seriously. Yeah. I'm eight. I was gonna say she bought nine. <laughs> what are you reading? About uh, this guy who's a bronco buster. It's a story of his life. Now he's into his uh, late thirties and he takes a bad fall and messes up his hip. He's coming to terms with what it's like to be slightly more used. Oh, oh no. Slightly more useless. Oh. <laughs> Poor is he crazy. I'm practically crying and I haven't even read it. About 15 years you'll be living it. <laughs> I don't like names like Pumpkin Puss, but since you're upset, we'll talk about that some other time. Ain't she precocious? Isn't she? <laughs> She's a wonderful little actress. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Her name on the marquee. <laughs> I'm here to pick up oh my god! Thomas Hardy's test we just watched the multi spot. It's timely that we saw it. <laughs> Rick Dalton? You bet. Jim Stacy. This is my show. Oh. Welcome aboard. Timothy Olyphant. Wow! She looked different. Yep. Was it true you almost got the McQueen part in The Great Escape? Hills, isn't it? Captain Hills, actually. I hadn't seen this movie when I thought oh, okay. once upon a time. Engineer. Flyer. As opposed to what's called in the American Army, a hot shot. So That's the real movie, dude. Yeah. So when we saw that, I thought of the scene uh, here. Ah, okay. <laughs> I finally had context yeah, for it. Yeah, right. I haven't seen Berlin yet from the ground or from there, and I plan on doing both before the war is over. You don't know. It's pretty seamless how they yes. blended him in. You know, why don't you stand over by the poster so people will know who you are? Well, thanks for okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> His damn kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tarantino. Yeah. These are for you. Street maps, places of interest. This is for you too. <laughs> well, they've done the same thing here because it's. She's not really with Dean Martin there. Actually, that's Sharon Tate. Yes, ma'am. They didn't things. CG in Marco Robbie. Oh, wow. That's yeah, the genuine deal. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry about. Welcome to Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute, Jenna. You know? See how people react. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet that happens a lot of times, eh? Go sit in the dark theater. Nobody knows you're there. I know how bored and restless you get when you run out of tamales. An actor playing an actor playing another character. <laughs> yeah. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. We find out that Jughead's name. Oh, that's the guy from Batman vs Superman. Oh, in the wheelchair. Oh, you're right. Yeah, got blown up. You care to join me at my table where I entertain my guests? I'd be delighted, Monsieur de Cactu. <laughs> Quite the last name they gave him. Monsieur Candy. I mean de Cactu. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Don't hurt her this time, man. Eh? I ain't gonna hurt her. Line, go, go, go fetch. Uh, Got his line again. Line, line, uh, line, line, line. Maybe he already uh, had. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, I fucked this whole thing up. Oh, Sam, I need to fuck this whole thing up. Oh, God. Can we just right go back, it. please? Can we just cut? Can we just cut? No, really, just no. Really, Sam, really, Sam, Sam please. Oh, God damn it! All right, all right, all right. Woo! Goddamn <laughs> outlaw, Rick. 
<laughs> You're a goddamn outlaw, Rick. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Jesus oh, Christ! Uh, you ain't eight goddamn fucking whiskey sours. Eight. <laughs> Needs Brad Pitt there to help him. I practiced them and I look like I goddamn practiced them. You're sitting there like a fucking baboon. <laughs> Make a promise to yourself you're gonna stop fucking drinking. Oh, and then he has a drink. Oh, <laughs> you don't get these lines right. I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. Oh no, oh, jeez. He's looking at the camera. Yeah. Get your shit together. <laughs> I love that scene so much. It's one of the most relatable things oh, DiCaprio's yeah. ever done. <laughs> you can see her again. <laughs> wow. Again. Yep. Rule of three. Wait, Spawn Movie Ranch? Yeah. That's where you're going, Spawn Movie Ranch. Uh huh. Well, I'll I'll take you there. Great. Oh, is that where the Mansons live? The group? Oh. Oh, is she one? Of, which one is she? Hmm. Squeaky Frome or? I remember all the names. Yeah. Take westerns at the ranch back in the old timey days. There they go. Well, it didn't get that much in the last movie, so he he has to yeah, make up for he has it this to make time. Yeah, up for it. Yeah. Marco Robbie, know her. Want me to stop your car while driving? How old are you? 18. Feel better? You got some ID. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm too old to do is go to jail for poontang. <laughs> Prison tried to get me all my life, but ain't got me yet. Hey man, I respect that. <laughs> they haven't hurt you. Camera's ready, Mr. Dalton. Okay. Giving yourself a pep talk. Yeah, that uh, that scene in his trailer that yeah. that wasn't in the script. Oh, that was uh, DiCaprio's idea. Oh, cool. There he is. Lancer's boys are here. Who is it? Luke Perry. Oh, he was on nine hundred two one zero, wasn't he? They haven't hurt you. Not yet, I. Ain't. But that can all change. Like that. <laughs> you do know kidnapping is a hanging. <laughs> Those blowing the heads off little girls. Jeez. Murdoch Lancer puts fifty thousand dollars in my lap. Oh. Ride this little pitcher down a well. Jeez. Some of that uh, Calvin Candy energy. Yeah. Give me evil, sexy Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <sighs> oh boy. Yeah, good job, wow. He killed it. With the throw, did I? No, 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 I'm good. I got pads on. <laughs> Rick, put her there. Oh, that was it. Really? Is that her stunt double? <laughs> Beaner Bronco Buster? Yeah. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> improv. Oh, that was wonderful. It was just, that was a triple alliterative improv. That was pretty great. Yeah. His little chat with himself helped. Yep. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Aww. Thank you. In her whole eight years of life. He's supposed to say your acting was really good, too. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's going to cry again. Oh, no. Tears of joy, though. Oh, yeah. He still got it. Rick fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little mini redemption artist, yeah, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Go on. Thank you for giving our precious pussy a ride home. Think nothing of it. <laughs> we love pussy. Oh, okay. Yes, we do. <laughs> Charlie's gone, everybody left. Charlie. Well, not every- mm -hmm. uh, Yes, I am. Hey, Tex, come here. Oh, Tex. Know that name. So George gave you all permission to be here. And you all take care of him? Uh-oh, you better go check on George. You can't see him right now. Yeah. Why can't I see him right now? Because he's napping. <laughs> oh, God. Terrible liar. You the mama bear? Can I help you? 
I hope so. Dakota Fanning? Wow. Guess who she plays. So you, but unfortunately, you picked the wrong time. George's taking in that name you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Because me and George like to watch TV on Sunday night, FBI and Bonanza, but George finds it hard to keep awake that late, so I make him take a nap around now so I don't get chipped out of my George TV time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The hell was that? Wow. <laughs> First time I saw this with a buddy from work, I leaned over to him and said, This is your cue to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so creepy. Oh, yeah. My children are the corn, but a bit older. Ain't she pleasant? Yeah. He may be tired. He's talking like a robot, though. Yeah. <laughs> God, he's probably been dead for a really long time. Oh, he's, a, he's alive. Okay. George! Oh, Bruce Stern. Okay. Who are you? It's Cliff Booth. Just stopped in to say hello and see how you're doing. John Wilkes? Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Who are you? Oh, lordy. I was Rick Stunt Double. Rick? Oh, Jesus. We're going to go round and round. <laughs> I was told. Squeaky sent me to bed. That <gasps> she's squeaky. Ooh. Nasty little thing in real life, so. Yep. You came to visit me. Now I gotta go back to sleep. <laughs> so everything she said was true. Yeah. You know, nice little build up. I thought he was gonna be a rotting yeah, corpse, really, but yeah. Originally, um <sighs> Deliverance, what's his name? Burt Reynolds? Yep. He was going to be in that role. Oh, really? But he died before he uh, could do it, so that's why Bruce Stern had to step uh, in. Oh, Bruce Stern's always good. Yeah. George isn't blind! You're the blind one! Wow. But that's what they were like. They just, were... They were blindly just following. Yeah. Fucking cult, you know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Just taken in by someone they thought was a prophet. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, I've got a flat. Yeah. Fix it. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Balls. Oh no. Oh, oh holy shit. Oh, oh. Falcon Ooh, punch. The nose. <laughs> Off his feet. And he's a stunt man. You... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can't fix it now. He's passed out though. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I gonna say we haven't seen much blood, but here we go. Now, why guys are back at the ranch kicking some space in? Uh, I'll take over for text. God. Jeez. <laughs> some cool shots here. Yeah. Doing well on the horse. It's five oh, he's done. Good. Yeah. A fun day with, with the Jeez. family. <laughs> Mamas and Papas do the original California Dreamin'. This ah, yeah. cool. Let's see, I've never heard another rendition of that one. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the FBI I used to watch that. Because it was still on in the 70s later, right? Because I was mm. just a kid when all this stuff happened. <laughs> Bought me an acid dip cigarette today. Oh, oh yeah. You want to buy a cigarette dipped in acid? Yeah. <laughs> that actress, by the way? Yeah. She played BB in Kill Bill, the the, uh, the bride's daughter. Ah, uh, cool. My booze don't need nobody. Whoa, whoa. There it is. There's the meme. Have you seen it? Yeah. Him yeah. like, hey, I recognize that. Yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere now. Uh oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's like a director's commentary. Yeah. Rick Dalton. Woo! Mm. Like the chewing gum. Norman Fell. Strong. Tonight's episode. All, all the, the streets, streets are silent. So they just took an episode and put him in it again, like a a real one. Yeah. Because those other actors are a real one. Mm-hmm. After that Musso and Frank's lunch meeting, Marvin did provide Rick job up. <laughs> Look at him. Yep. Yeah. Well, Rick got Nebraska Jim, and Rick made a rather compelling Nebraska Jim. Mm -hmm. 
His second western was Kill Me Quick Ringo, said the gringo. Oh, God. <laughs> Quick Ringo, said the gringo. It was an Italian-Spanish co-production that paired him with Telly Savalas, titled Red Blood, Red Skin. Oh, no, no. And based on the Floyd Ray Wilson novel, The Only Good Indian is a Dead Indian. Yeah. Spaghetti secret agent James Bond ripoff type flick called Apparazioni Dynamite, directed <laughs> yeah. by Antonio Margariti. Antonio Margariti. <laughs> 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 he has four new movies under his belt, some money in his pocket, and his brand spanking new Italian wife. Oh. Capucci. Jeez, they've got all the women snoring in this movie. <laughs> when this whole European journey is over, I think we've, uh, we've reached the end of the trail, Cliff. Well. Yeah. I thought he made some money, though, here. And... Yeah, most of it eaten up by his apartment. and Yeah. New wife and... <laughs> It'll be the end of an era for both of them. When you come to the end of the line with a buddy who is more than a brother and a little less than a wife, getting blind drunk <laughs> together is really the only way to say farewell. Yeah, apparently Tarantino got the idea for this movie after he worked with an actor who had had the same stuntman for like 20 years. Oh, wow. So that relationship cool. is what inspired him to, yeah, to make the right. movie. Because I guess you would, right? Somebody that kind of looks like you and... yeah. And as we've seen, you know, they... They're, like I said, more than brothers, you know. Yeah, they yeah. Do everything together. Hi! Oh, How are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a terrible tragedy what happened. Yeah. While Roman was in London preparing his next movie, Wojtek Frykowski, an old friend of Roman's from Poland. And oh, these names are coming back now from the book. Taco Bell. <laughs> wow. I was a teenager. I worked at the Meadowlark Cinerama. Ooh. <laughs> the movie theater. Because you got it done. <laughs> no, it's not because it's you just got it done. He had it just. <laughs> We're almost at the I love you, man yeah. stage. Yeah. <laughs> it was after 11.45 by the time the yellow cab dropped Rick and Cliff in front of the house. Oh, God, I hated those ice cube trays. <laughs> <laughs> Around midnight, a completely drunk Rick Dalton started making a blender of frozen margaritas. Yeah, let's keep the party going. Yeah. <laughs> tonight, tonight. Why not? Oh, gosh. We, we go. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to smoke it going away from home. Yeah. Because you'd want to be close to home. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what's going to happen, really. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there's Tex. Is that Tex driving? Mm-hmm. What your goddamn fucking hippies? He's <laughs> got the blender of ice. What you and the margaritas. <laughs> now take this mechanical asshole and get it off my fucking street! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's everybody's Look fucking it is. away. Oh. Look. What did Charlie say? Maya Hawk. He said, and on the right. Go to Terry's own name? house and uh can't madison something oh but she was in scream five yes you're right yeah i can't believe that asshole in the robe <laughs> was jay cahill when i was a kid i had a bounty law lunchbox that was my favorite of all my lunchboxes every show on tv that was an i love lucy was about murder <laughs> the people an entire generation grew up watching kill people live here and they live in pig shit fucking luxury. I say fuck them. I say we cut their cocks up and make them eat it. That's a great idea, Sadie. In case we weren't clear, these are the bad guys. Yeah, you oh, know. Geez. <laughs> yeah. Just to reinforce what they were like. I locked the car. You'll need keys to get in. Oh. Right. She gonna drive away? Oh no. Yeah. He's leaving you there. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I <laughs> oh, love this song. Red Fairy.
You are real, right? <laughs> I'm as real as a donut, motherfucker. <laughs> oh no. He's just tripping uh, balls. Yeah, right now. yeah. You are. I'm the devil. And I'm here to do the devil's business. <laughs> no, I was dumber than that. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, good dog. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that would hurt. Yeah. As would that. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> if only this really, this is what really happened, eh? Yeah. Hey, you. Oh, nice one. Yes. Sure, up, Francesca. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, the dog. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. Oh Jesus, in that hip. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh. Jesus. Oh. oh God. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's out in the pool. <laughs> Isn't he? Oh no. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. And he's really high, so he probably... <laughs> oh. 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 oh, she shoot him or he just passed out? Passed out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like... Oh, look at her face. Oh, my God. Deserved every bit of it, though. <laughs> When we saw her in Scream, yeah. I could only think of this movie because oh. it was a very similar role. Yeah, right. And similar kind of pain that she suffers. She has that damn gun. Jesus, fuck. Yeah. She's just... God, you crazy bitch. Yeah, he's like, what is happening? <laughs> he was just drinking in the pool, yeah. having a good time. Oh, no. What's he gonna do? Oh my god, he's got that flamethrower. <laughs> he's got a flamethrower, baby. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Why doesn't she just duck under the water? <laughs> Not really thinking, I don't think. Oh god. God, the like. He has no idea what's going on, but I'm gonna end it, yeah. Well, and like, some crazy bitch crashes through your window, starts yeah. shooting in the air. You are justified in putting her down. That's right. Oh. oh. <laughs> God, the experience in the theater when all of this happened oh, the first time I saw this movie it was, was it was magical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just how people were like groaning and screaming. And he said, I'm here to do some devil <laughs> shit. That's not verbatim, but not verbatim. <laughs> not verbatim. <laughs> devil shit. And away we go. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's one of the craziest climaxes oh, of God, any Tarantino yes. movie. Hell. I love it so much. You're a good friend, Cliff. I tried. He is a good friend. Yeah. Not for Cliff, him and his wife would be dead. Mm hmm. What the fuck happened? <laughs> oh, these, these, these fucking hippie weirdos, they, 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 they broke into my house. Now, my buddy and his dog killed two of them, and then, uh. <laughs> Oh shit, I torched the last one. <laughs> Torch? Torch? Yeah. I burnt her ass to a crisp. How'd you do that? I got a flamethrower and my tool <laughs> shit. Oh, from the 14th Fist of McCloskey? Yeah. It's like someone knows me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it still works too. Thank God. Hey, is everybody okay? Well, the fucking hippies aren't. <laughs> 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 Uh. Is everybody okay? Yeah, yes, yes, Sharon. Every, every, everybody's fine. Rick, would you like to come up to the house for a drink and meet my other friends? May as well. Your wife's out for a while. Yeah. Yeah, in real life, all four of them died up there. 
than the La Bianca is later that night. The next night, night or the next day, something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that was batshit crazy at the end there. Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's, it's almost like that show you have, how it should have ended, right? Very much. And it, yeah. it is how it should have ended. Yeah. Yeah. Funny, they only showed Manson that one time. Eh? They did. But his shadow loomed over the whole movie. Oh, yeah. You know? For sure. Yeah. Rumor Willis. Bruce Willis's daughter. Oh. I didn't see her. Oh, I'll have to look Gang. her up. There they are. Zoe Bell. Tim Roth cut. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they his part got there? cut. James Remar and Hi, this is Rick Dalton, better known as Bounty Hunter Jake Cahill, speaking on behalf of Red Apple Cigarettes. Oh, Red Apple. <laughs> <laughs> With less burn on your throat than any other non filter cigarette. Jesus. <laughs> and all right, this cigarette tastes like fucking shit. By the way, who chose this photo? All right, I have a double chin. All right, nobody notices that crap. <laughs> Once upon a time in Hollywood. Wow. Yeah, what'd you think? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much going on, right? There is, yeah. yeah. No, it's such a good movie. Oh. It's my, my second favorite Tarantino yeah. film. And much yeah. like Inglorious Bastards, it, it is a version of history we prefer yes. would have happened. Yeah, right. True, yeah. You know, considering, I mean, it was one of the defining moments in in you know the 60s and you know the hippie culture and the 20th century in general yeah one of those we're one of those cult leaders infected into the regular population like that yeah, yeah. trying it to wasn't play just like a, a you know we all drank kool-aid somewhere and that kind of stuff right well and, and that was you know like jim jones was mm -hmm. by virtue of sure numbers like 900 people killing themselves but yeah and it's just you know such like a such a brutal tragedy like you know a pregnant woman it is, is it's, murdered it's, in it's, her home and and it, it it also makes you wonder too like you know if if she had lived i mean you know what would have become of roman you know would he have mm -hmm. done what he did if his wife would have, had been murdered yeah, yeah exactly how what how would sharon's career have gone you know yeah, and all, all of the these other people right there yeah exactly. all of these things yeah yeah that's interesting though how showed the real movie when she went to the movies they right? did yeah the whole movie that was, was a like, nice homage yeah, yeah really nice yeah. homage and actually um sharon tate's sister deborah uh was one of the first people to see this movie oh. and she was left in tears afterwards and she said after 50 years it felt like she had her sister back oh margot robbie did such a good job portraying wow. her yeah and it was just such a like a heartwarming aspect of the film you know yeah. they were able to kind of bring her back to life and, mm -hmm. and show her off and yeah. you know show how what a sweet warm soul she yeah. was and well it's interesting though this when did this movie come out a couple years ago you 2019 said? i believe because i think a lot of younger people wouldn't know anything about it right they would have yeah i was i was thinking when you said there's more that there was going to be maybe some text or something to say what something just some yeah. alluding to what really happened or something mm -hmm. because they wouldn't know, right? No, this is a... no. People like my age or younger wouldn't really have wouldn't known because no. I think mostly through you, I I just knew of yeah. Manson and yeah. And uh, I remember when the first trailers came out. At one point, they showed uh, Pussycat saying, "You know, Charlie's gonna dig you," and they might have shown mm. his face. And then at the very last shot of the trailer was them walking up the road in the dark uh, of night, and you just okay. I I sort of recognized what yeah. that was, and it's just like such a terrifying thing. Like you, the whole movie, you're building towards that, mm -hmm. you know. And then l well, luckily, especially when he was narrating, right? My Kurt was narrating. Yeah. And was saying like at 305. It, just it felt like a true like, crime okay, documentary. Yes. Yeah. But then he stopped. Right. Because it was. Here's yeah. where we went off script. So and, the whole yeah. point of the deviation is, you know, mm -hmm. they have these these neighbors and they have an ending encounter with Tex yeah. and the others. And that's where it diverges. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of where things, you know, we, we wish would have happened, you know. Yeah. And I think um, uh, Mikey Madison, who got uh, torched by the flamethrower yeah right. I, I think like the real like the character the person she was portraying was like i think most people figure she was the one who actually stabbed sharon oh, so that's why no. she went through the most pain and suffering oh, okay like mauled by a dog had her mm. face busted in by the mm. dog food went through a window yeah. towards like all of that stuff but yeah. it's it's my second favorite tarantino film it is an excellent movie my one genuine criticism is of the scene with bruce lee because of the ridiculousness of well, that he would be able to beat Bruce Lee like that. Partly I, that, and actually in the script, um, Cliff was supposed to just outright beat him with like a dirty trick, but but um, uh, Brad Pitt had it changed because he knew how bad it would look. Oh, yeah. And because <clears throat> A, Mike Moe, the actor playing him, did a spot on impersonation of him. Like the, that, that it was mm -hmm, such a good characterization. Mm -hmm. But B, I like the scene, how it plays out. There's some funny jokes. There's some cool kind of stunt stuff going on, but I think... I do find it offensive in regards to how they portray Bruce Lee yeah. because of how like his personality and actually his family agreed. There's a lot of people kind of like very 
pissed off by like mm-hmm. how they portrayed him as this like arrogant braggart who's saying he yeah. could do because in real life like he said Cassius Clay would have killed him like he was under no like he, he wasn't full of himself yeah. that way yeah because I think Tarantino read a book about Bruce Lee and there was in that book there was a section where where stuntmen or other people on the crews that he worked with were kind of wagering if Bruce Lee could do this oh. and Tarantino got it into his head that Bruce Lee believed this to be true oh, okay and so he's in several interviews in the subsequent years said like, he maintains that Bruce Lee was all, like, arrogant and, like, talking down to American stuntmen uh, and all this stuff. Yeah. So it's it's kind of, like, the, the one thing I, mm-hmm. I have a problem with for, yeah. the, for the movie, but... Okay, but that's a small thing. Uh, like, exactly, yeah. No, but, the movie. yeah. And, and actually, uh, funny enough, in Ahsoka, do you remember the, mm-hmm. the actress who played Morgan, the one who had the who mm-hmm. fought Ahsoka mm-hmm. towards the end? Yeah. Um, I can't remember her real, her real name, but uh, that actress was Bruce Lee's goddaughter. Really? And she's like a lifelong martial artist. Yeah, right. So that's kind of a neat little connection. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of stars here. Yeah. Uh, A lot of you know real life actors portrayed, like Steve McQueen, and Mm -hmm. and then they had stuff with. Oh yeah, Damien Lewis was in it for like a minute. Yeah, two minutes. Yeah. But that's Tarantino movies. He has the minute for a very short time, which and most other movies don't do that. Right? And think of, you know, like how small of a production we started with Reservoir Dogs mm-hmm. to hear. Like in, over the years, he's built up enough of a reputation. He's that, collected enough of them all, and then he calls them the gang at the end. That right? too. But like Usual. actors like willingly take pay cuts or like they, they do everything everything they can to be in a movie with Tarantino because yeah. he's just such an influential oh, filmmaker. Himself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah. like I said, Burt Reynolds was going to be in this movie. He was going to be George, uh, mm. but then he died just before they, they mm. filmed the scene. So Bruce Dern stepped in. Mm-hmm. And actually, I was reading that Burt Reynolds, uh, when told that that Brad Pitt was going to be uh, playing a stuntman. Mm-hmm. He came up with the idea of having someone say to Cliff, you're pretty for a stuntman. Uh, so he was able to contribute something to yeah, the film. Yeah, right. Oh, and apparently um, Tarantino started writing this as a novel, not a movie. Oh. But then p- partway through, he figured that it would be better as a movie script. Hmm. But actually, afterwards, he ended up releasing the novelization of the film. Oh, yeah. Like the first time he's ever done that for huh. any of his movies. Interesting. Yeah, but it's just... It, and, and like I say, it's different from most of his films, because it's more of like a, like a slice of life, real life, just looking at... Mm-hmm. It's one big love letter to Hollywood. Yes. Yeah, all these studios, all these shows, yeah, these yeah. Act, classic actors, you know, yes. like oh, just an homage. So it's to... it's for those of us that he was able to put it out there, but those of us that grew up with all these shows and movies and stuff, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, and like you kept saying, like authentic looking, like like cars yes. and and like the ads, like the TV signs and posters, putting them in yeah. the old movies. It's just yeah. similar to what uh, Scorsese did with with Hugo, mm-hmm. remember that, that one with mm-hmm. like the automaton yeah. and whatever. Yeah, like that one was a love letter to like the birth of cinema with with right. like the silent film. This is very much a love letter to like. The golden age of Hollywood mm-hmm, in the '60s, mm-hmm. you know, all these sort of yeah. the, the grand studio stuff. Yeah, and yeah, it's. It, I just remember like falling in love with it the first time I saw it because it's just very different than like l- most of his other films. Because mm-hmm. really, only the last like 15 minutes has any kind of violence in it. Well, yeah, remember I was saying there the blood, right? The only blood was when it started when he went out to the ranch there and yeah. But it, yeah. yeah, but uh, but like I say, it all builds towards this one point. It it changes dramatically. It's mm-hmm. one of the best movie climaxes I've ever seen because oh, it's just God, such yeah. a turn. Yeah, they built up the menace of all of these cultists yeah. so much, yeah. and then it just like instantly, oh, they're getting brutalized yeah. and killed. And well, and, and the one of the funny things was Brad Pitt. I mean, we saw him; he could take on anybody at any point because he was just that strong. Yes. But here, he was just so high. Yeah, but he could still. At first, he was like, "Is this real?" Remember when he was pointing back? He was waving his like finger he, around. And then and kind of realized partway through a bit. Cause, still. Because the first scene in his trailer with, with the dog, we that shows off just how well-trained Brandy yeah. was. You know, able yeah. to, you know, just able to point, and Brandy yeah. just is fired like a bullet from a gun. Yeah. And then also that... As much as I dislike that scene, him against Bruce Lee shows he has like martial arts, oh, like yeah. like reflexes yeah. and skills. So yeah. it shows off like kind of how deadly he is yeah. going into it. But yeah, this is the ninth and like I say, the currently the last film directed by Tarantino. Mm. So we've gone through kind of his his wow. canon. I believe his tenth film. It's going to be called The Movie Critic. I think I read somewhere it's going to be like a almost a biographical thing about a real life movie critic from back in like this era. He's like writing the script right now. Oh, okay, so, so maybe like Siskel and Ebert stuff, or like... maybe that I can't remember the person's name, oh, but it's okay. like the and it's planned, you know, to be like his tenth and final film. Oh, wow. but like what a, a legacy, you oh, know? God, like yeah, some of the most influential films in cinematic history. No I'm kidding. Yeah. Like I would never have watched a Tarantino movie. You know that before, right? Oh yeah, you and guys I mean, know. You know, <laughs> admittedly, they're they're some of them are extremely violent, exactly, and yeah, very and whatever, much. which I would never 
But Some looking away from all of that, the rest is it's so interesting how he does his movies. And I identify with a lot of it because I grew up with a lot of exactly. The, you know, the You're the same kind of age and stuff. Yeah. Age range yeah. of him. So you would have, yeah. like you said, you grew up with a lot of the same music mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. same movies and stuff that like, you know, much like George Lucas did with, yeah. with Star Wars, Star like Wars in, the, in his case, it was like, like Buck Rogers, old World War II films mm-hmm. and like stuff he put in with, into Star Wars. Yeah. Tarantino puts all the stuff into his films. So yeah. it's just kind of a really fun, like yeah. pastiche of different stories. And but, but didn't you say there's more to watch he he that he didn't write but he directs yeah so a lot of you guys have wanted us to watch stuff like i think it was like true romance there's like from dusk till dawn there's a few movies that he wrote but didn't direct Uh, oh and i think he even starred in a couple of them as like not just a cameo so we're we're, now that we're done with the films he directed we're going to kind of dive on into those Uh, same thing with like what we did with bond Mm. these next ones are going to be almost like a bonus yeah uh, because we've done the main sort of like said the canon of his films Uh, so there's about three or four i think of like ones that he wrote because mm-hmm. um, he's he's collaborated but with a lot else with directed. a lot of a lot of directors like Robert mm-hmm. Rod- Rodriguez and mm. and uh, he's also written some TV but uh, he's he's had a very very prolific very prolific yeah. and impactful yeah. career you know mm-hmm. like I said like when we, we watch Pulp Fiction a lot of you guys say it's your favorite like I cannot overstate just how influ- like how much of an impact that film had on mm-hmm. cinema mm-hmm. like you know there's never been another Tarantino like yeah. he's just yeah. like, one of the giants of cinema yeah. Yeah, and I really have to think about. I mean, I was, it's like in my head, what which was which is my favorite mm-hmm. one of these. You know, I don't know. I have to think about it. Yeah, there's a lot, and there's... within each movie, there's like a you know a scene that you might say this is your favorite, like across yeah. Tarantino. This one here, like the scene where where Rick just kind of freaks the fuck out in his trailer yeah. and burns himself in front of those goddamn people. <laughs> like it's so relatable. How like how many of us have freaked out at ourselves yeah. for like embarrassing ourselves yeah. and messing up in public? That's right. There's yeah. that. There's the opening scene of In- Inglorious Bastards where he finds the family under the under the mm. barn. There's um, any of the fight scenes in Kill Bill. Yeah. There's just like individual stuff in each movie. That's there like is, just... and that's the thing, right? I've I've got pieces of all of them kind of in my head, so I'll have to. Yeah. I'll have to do like flashcards and yeah. them all out and <laughs> just like pick a card, any That's card. It. So yeah, like, uh, probably by like next time I'll you know leave, give you time yeah. to mull yeah. over which one yeah. would you say is your because yeah. it's not your favorite. Like right now, I mean, in my head, Inglorious Bastards stands out hugely. It really I does. Really, I like that one. Yeah, for me, it's it's probably yeah, Kill Bill is my favorite taken yeah, all together. Kill Bill, yeah. Uh, this one is number two, and then number three would be Inglorious Bastards. Mm-hmm, that's, mm-hmm. that's like my top three. I, I I said when we started that like I much prefer his his later films, you know, stuff like this, mm. than say like Reservoir Dogs or Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah. There's just yeah. I don't know, just something about his style and just like the way he tells his stories i really mm-hmm. kind of prefer it that mm-hmm. way but like i say that's you know to quentin tarantino that's you know mom's been kind of properly exposed to this yeah. one-of-a-kind filmmaker you know absolutely like, you know Green, even yeah. like if someone were to make a unique western or a, like a samurai film or anything like there's no one can m- properly mimic mm. the 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 formula yeah, he's got his own style for sure yeah. yeah yeah so yeah that was once upon a time in hollywood like we said a version of history we much prefer what would have happened in real yeah. life yeah you know much love to sharon tate and her family and mm-hmm. if you guys want to watch the full length of our reaction i'll put a link down to our patreon below check out this and all the other movies and shows that we do We've got a lot of exclusives on there that aren't on youtube so check those out if you enjoyed what you saw please like and subscribe it really helps us helps the channel grow and uh yeah that's all we have for you today so we will see you later bye guys bye